Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. It's Tuesday, and today we are invited to talk about prayers. Child of God, I hope you are fine. And if you don't know, the greatest prayer you can ever pray is the Lord's Prayer. Why is that? Because when you pray with your own words, you are talking to God, of course. But when you pray with the Word of God, when you use the Bible in praying, you are talking to God with His own words. And in, of course, theologians have arguments about which words in the Bible are actually the words of Jesus, what we call the ipsissima verba arguments. What are the really words? Of, what did Jesus really say? Which of those words he really said, and which of those words he did not say? Whatever school of theology you belong to, there is one part of the Gospels that you cannot deny came directly from Jesus. It is. Last Supper, the words at the Last Supper when he says, this is my body and this is my blood. But it's also, there's this part where he teaches his disciples to pray. And he taught them to pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, when I was a kid, I remember that when I was asked to pray somewhere, or when we were about to pray somewhere, and someone began to say the Our Father, I just got bored. I'm like, oh, just kabash, just say something from the Spirit. But as I began to grow in my spiritual walk, I have realized that there is no prayer that you can ever pray that will be more effective than the Lord's Prayer. The reason for this is because you are using Jesus' own words himself, and that's the greatest form of prayer. Now, at this point, I'd like to show you a few things about the Lord's Prayer so you understand why this is such a powerful prayer. The first thing I'd like to show to you is that Jesus said, Our Father, Our Father. In the Aramean language that Jesus spoke, the word Our Father is Father is actually Abba. The word Abba means Father, of course, but it's much deeper. It also means my source or our source. All right. So Abba means our source. So when you are praying, you are recognizing God as your source. And there is nothing greater than that. And I think it's also a message for parents, for fathers and mothers to realize that when your children are calling you father, they're actually reminding you that you are their source. So let's remember the Lord's prayer. Jesus continues by saying, after saying our source, he says, who are in heaven? That's not just telling us God's address. He's saying the heavens for the people, for the Jews, is something that is above all other things. So when you tell God that he is in heaven, you're actually telling him that he is number one in your life, that he is your number one priority, that you will place him above every other thing. That is praise, that is adoration. So, and the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. So once you have identified God as your source, in fact, I, I think that the best form of prayer is just to realize that you have come to reconnect with your source. And that's why the Our Father always works. Because when you're saying this prayer, you're reconnecting yourself. Just imagine the phone that is, that's, that whose battery has died out. All it needs to do really is to plug itself back to some source of power. So when we pray, what we are really doing is to replug ourselves to a source of power, to the ultimate source of all power, who is God himself. So when we come to God as the source of our lives and the source of our spiritual lives and the source of our nourishment, we also acknowledge him as the greatest, he who is in heaven, who is greater than everything else. I could comment on just these two for the whole day. Our Father who art in heaven. And then we say, hallowed be your name. To say hallowed means also something like your name is distinguished. Your name is different from all other names. So you are still in the mood of praise. Hallowed be your name. And then we finish the first part of our Father, which is the praise part. And then we come to the petition part. When we come to the petition part, of course, we say, your will be done on earth. Prayer is not us trying to make God do our will. It is ourselves making God's will happen in our lives. It is actually us who come to accept God's will in our lives. So that's what we do when we pray. Your will be done on earth. That's why Jesus says that, do not be like the Pharisees or the others who think that by using many words, they can make themselves heard. In other words, they can make God do their wills. No. Prayer is not about you making God do your will. Prayer is about you learning to abide by the will of God. You keen into the will of God. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Heaven is where God is, is where God reigns, is where there is justice and peace and love and everything that we desire. The reason for that is that the will of God is done there. So if we allow ourselves, if we allow the will of God also to be done in our lives, we will have all those things that they have in heaven. And it will be done another season that give us this day our daily bread. So Thomas Aquinas tells us that we have seven petitions in this prayer. And of course, we can identify them easily. We pray for the bread for today. God is teaching us to live one day at a time. Of course, we should have long-term strategies and plans, but we should learn to live one day at a time. Give us this day our daily bread. And of course, we know that we're sinners, so we ask for forgiveness and we promise God that we're going to forgive those who sin against us. And of course, we need this protection from evil and from temptation. And that's how the prayer ends. What better prayer can we ever, ever compose that would be better than the one that Jesus himself composed? So come back to the child of God and begin to pray the Our Father every day and as often as is possible during the day and you will be reconnected back to your source. Remember, he who is plugged into God will never dry out. We the mighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.